Tired of being an out of shape nerd? Well, today we're going to teach you how to be in shape. But I can, I can still be a nerd though, right? <laughs> Did Peter Parker team up with Wolverine to train his spidey senses past the point of precognition? <laughs> Salutations, good people. Welcome to the CS Podcast, where we create stuff. Or if you're Trey, create shit. And today, we've got our hands absolutely full with a new healthy lifestyle for young Trayvon. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit about what's going on with you. That way, we can maybe inspire some others who might have been in the same boat as you. Yeah. Or trying to hop on that boat. But it's just too far out of reach, just, so now you're going to have to swim. Yeah, now you, now you got to get active to get the vote. Get right. the vote, get the boat. Yeah, to get the vote, to get the boat. Get the vote, to get the boat. Vote to get the boat. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, first of all, um, it, it took quite a kick in the ass for me to, to, to go down this path. Yeah, uh, what would it take? Uh, well, I, I would advise people to take this leap of faith before. <laughs> it, it makes it a whole lot easier. Okay. Um, but for me, so I went to the doctor's office, uh, just kind of just a normal checkup, and they noticed uh, my weight. So I, I step on the scale, right? I look at the scale, and it says 230. Mm-hmm. And immediately I'm like, oh, this shit is like unbalanced. Like they need to balance the scale. It's broken. Um, because I thought I was doing a lot better than that. Like I was thinking, eh, 220. Two 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 fifteen two twenty 220, kind mm-hmm. of around that range. So 230 was quite the wake-up call, mm-hmm. especially because I'd already been like, okay, well, I'm like, I'm, I'm active. I'm walking around the house. I'm cleaning. I'm out doing yard work, you know, these things. I'm trying to eat better in the sense of like, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to avoid kind of sugars and things like that. Mm-hmm. Not to the extent I am now, but you know, I was, I was trying, I thought I was doing better. Sure. So I go in, uh, the doctor sets me down. He, he, you know, he's like, well, you know, first thing we're going to talk about this is weight. And I was like, hey, yeah, I know. <laughs> so he does, you know, checks my blood pressure. And typically my blood pressure is a little elevated because, like, I'm nervous going into the doctor's office. And so he's like, yeah, that's fine. So he checks my blood pressure and he's like, all right, I'm going to be honest with you. He goes, one to four years, you're looking at uh, high blood pressure diagnosis. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that sucks. <laughs> like, um, but while we were there, um, he ended up doing uh, a urine sample and there was sugar in my urine, which there should not be sugar in your urine. He's like, that's, uh, that's pretty, he goes, I want to do blood tests to make sure he goes, you might be looking at like pre-diabetic. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to get you like, might be looking at diabetes because I don't want to like alarm you because let's do the blood test first. Mm. And that's when I was like, Oh God, because diabetes runs in my family. My dad has it, you know, uh, I think my mom's dad or mom's whatever had it. Like it runs on both sides of the family. So I was sure. like, I've been kind of staring down the barrel of that loaded gun pretty much my whole life. Mm. So it wasn't, it wasn't so much of a shock to me, but it was also one of those is like, man, I've been trying to avoid this and now could potentially be facing that. And like, I don't know. Needles are scary. Like I don't, I don't mind getting blood drawn, but I don't want to poke myself in the stomach every day. Like, yeah, you know, so I, that was that was very much a wake up call for me. So we were gonna. I was leaving for Pensacola uh, the next day. So Florida, I, yeah, Pensacola, Florida. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if there's another Pensacola to get that mixed up with, but I'm glad you <laughs> specified. Just uh, wanted to be safe in case Pensacola, another... Indianapolis, mm-hmm. uh, Indiana. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, so yeah, went to Pensacola, but I was like, so had to delay the blood test until after I got back, and I was like, I'm I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wait around on this anymore. Like I'd already been thinking about, like, okay, I kind of need to work out. I kind of need to do, and that's when I kind of buckled down and I was like, all right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna really hit this thing in the head and you know take it head on. Mm. So uh, I downloaded an app that kind of helps track. Uh, I don't want to. We're not sponsored by the app, so I'm not gonna say the name. But you know, it, it's like a psychology based uh, weight loss kind of thing. And so I dove head first into that and it like all throughout that in in the app it like counts your calories you can put exercise in there you can track your blood pressure your glucose your uh your water intake like all that kind of stuff it has recipes in there and it's really cool um so i was like i downloaded that and started the friday when we left for pensacola i was like i'm just gonna i was like we're on vacation that's great but i was like i'm gonna hit this going down there and i'm gonna Mm. i'm gonna hit it you know, head on. And so from there come Tuesday, Monday, I did the, uh, 
did the blood test okay. and came back and yeah, they were like, all right, you're in that pre-diabetic range. Like we need to, he was like, you need to lose like half a pound to a pound a week for the next six months. He goes, then come back and let's, let's reevaluate. Let's do some more blood tests and see where you are. Mm. And hopefully you dodge this bullet. Um, and so then Tuesday I was like, all right, I got, I got to implement some kind of workout routine. So I've downloaded a couple apps and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do like five minutes of like stretching and warm up. And then I was like, I'm gonna do like 15 minutes of just whatever this app tells me to do, you know, jumping jacks and pushups, rhomboid pulls. And I don't know, Tetris yeah. stacks, whatever it needs me to do. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm gonna follow it up with like 10, 15 minutes of yoga. Like just to kind of yeah. like an all body, whatever I need to do. And that's kind of the regime that I've stuck with. Um, and we're, you know, I guess a week and a, a day or so out from that. Very nice. Yeah. So what did, so what did your, I guess, level of fitness? Oh God, going into it, going into it. What did, what did that look like? I was very sedentary. Let's put it that okay. way. So I sat around, I did like, obviously I, you know, we're in the, the office. I do a lot of editing. You lived with me. You, you saw me in that chair. Well, not that chair specifically, I guess, but a chair quite a bit over the year and a half that you lived with me. That's mm-hmm. pretty much where I stayed, yeah. whether I was editing or, you know, maybe I was playing games or doing whatever, or if I wasn't there, I was in there on the couch. Like there was not a whole lot. Or of, you went to iHeart to work where you sat. Yeah. Yeah. I sat in a chair and produced a show. So where you rode the elevator up. Yeah. Yeah. That was, <laughs> my, that was my, Oh yeah. So I started parking on the fifth floor. Now that's where I park. I park on the fifth floor. I walk down. Ah. I do it. It's little changes like that, that I've also oh, absolutely. implemented. Um, that I found that can kind of add up a little bit. Um, and, so, yeah. and what did your diet look like? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> pizza, tacos, like a lot of the same stuff. Spaghetti, fettuccine, like a lot of starchy foods, I guess. Gotcha. You know, just whatever. Um, if we went out to eat, it was always like the fries were my side. That was, I was double fries. Um, to where now I've started implementing like... Uh, so we got hibachi, um, down at the beach and then here. And so I got hibachi vegetables with it and I was like, I'm just going to eat them. I'm like, I'm just, I'm just going to eat them. Okay. <laughs> so ate the broccoli, ate the zucchini. Didn't, I'm still not a big fan of onions. So I avoid mm-hmm. onions, but I ate around the onions. So ate the broccoli, ate the zucchini, you know, ate wow. whatever else is in the, in that vegetables. Maybe that's the only three vegetables is broccoli, zucchini. And, uh, in the mornings now I do a uh, half a green bell pepper in my, um, omelet i make an omelet with three eggs and then i throw a spinach on it and then yeah whoa yeah yeah i was about so, to say from you from where you uh, lived with me you never saw me eat anything green to nothing now. green yeah that's incredible yeah. so i mean you were pretty hard and fast on not eating vegetables yeah so it took this oh yeah so i mean it wasn't it wasn't necessarily a death sentence i suppose it, but yeah. like it's still like I mean, that's a lifelong issue, you know, like a, a that, disease. Yeah. That's that a commitment. Like, yeah. And we just were talking off air about how if it's not 90, it's something really high. It's like yeah. 80% to 90% of all diseases yeah. being preventable. Mm-hmm. So think about that the next time you're you're complaining about paying taxes, but you're also destroying your body with unhealthy foods not exercising things like that yeah because it all correlates it all ties yeah. in the stuff that you're gonna have to go on medication for what insurance is covering you're you're paying for taxes somewhere yeah so you're you're fueling other folks that's why i personally like to encourage a healthier lifestyle i hate and i'll say this <laughs> i hate that it took a doctor yeah do you understand how long it anybody watching not just yeah. you and when i heard this my mind was blown um, that a doctor, the amount of hours that they spend learning about nutrition mm-hmm. when they're going through, I'll call it doctor school. Yeah, yeah, doctor school. That's right. Um, that's what it is. <laughs> you know, if any doctors are watching, I'm all the utmost respect. You can call us on the doctor line with your doctor phone from your doctor school. <laughs> right. <laughs> with your, your your doctor stethoscope. Yeah. Oh, man, somebody got in trouble for that one year. They called it a, a doctor stethoscope. Yeah. When they were they were like... Uh, yelling and screaming at a nurse or something. They said, why don't you go get your doctor's stethoscope yeah. or something? And they're like, yeah. it's a what? I'm sorry. <laughs> Only doctors can use it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, oh, that was... Oh, this person, whoever it was, they got canceled before getting canceled was, was a, thing. a thing. Yeah. Um, 
doctors have it's something like eight to fifteen hours of training in nutrition. Oh, really? Oh, that's it. It's they not go, their they go ju- for like seven, eight, twelve years, right? It's a yeah. while. You'd think a little more, maybe a little bit. And, and I guarantee you that those those hours were dedicated to folks who have, you know, d- diabetes, hypertension, yeah, yeah, uh, high blood pressure, what have you. Um, I'm sure that mm. little bit was in there. Love my doctor, but yeah, my doctor hit one of his advice was, "Hey, go to the American Diabetes Association to see what their diet says." Like, didn't even really give me a diet recommendation. Just like a half pound to a pound a week. Look at this if you want to figure out your diet. Well, they didn't have time to tell you because well, their their job. And I say that disparagingly. Yeah. Because their their goal is to assess, diagnose, and then prescribe. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. If you sat me, I have the utmost confidence that I could sit. If you if you got up and, and a doctor sat down, I would run circles around them when it comes to nutrition. And it wouldn't that take be an episode. It wouldn't take much. Yeah, that's like saying you're the nicest guy in prison. It wouldn't. <laughs> it's not saying a whole lot. Yeah, but unfortunately, that's that's the big pharma that we live in. That's yeah. the America that we live in. Well, and you know. Thinking about our title and our thumbnail and what this episode is about. Yeah. It doesn't take, you know, you learning the the water breathing techniques and running through the forest like Tanjiro or, you know, being naturally gifted Saiyan like Goku to, to get in shape and have that. Quarter. Right. It doesn't take an anime training arc. No. I, the, the title is for is, is a joke, but I've learned slow and steady like it's it's a it's a marathon not a sprint Mm -hmm. um and that's one of the things like that i've really had to kind of come to terms with this too that i've had to reassure myself like i may get six months out from this and lose x amount of pounds and be down where the doctor wants me to and i may still be looking at a diet like a diabetic diagnosis that uh, just with my genes Mm -hmm. you know like i fully accepted that like that could be a possibility i may not dodge this depending on all the work I put in, but I'll be in a better place. Right. I'll be better equipped to handle it. If, if that comes, I may dodge it and not have to worry about it and be good. And I'll still keep up the lifestyle. But if I, if it comes down to it and like, they're like, yeah, you know, you're 180 now, but you know, still got diabetes. Like you're still looking at pre-diabetic. It's just genes. Like, I'm still going to keep up the lifestyle because it's a good lifestyle. And I've already seen some benefits of it. Like I told you off mic, off air, just running around and doing normal chores around the house. I've noticed, I'm like, wow, I'm much less winded than like, it's, it's a noticeable difference. I'm like, man, I would typically be like kind of, or like pouring sweat, like just sweeping and mopping and, you know, vacuuming and going from that room, my bedroom back here and throwing stuff away and things like that, like, or putting the big one was putting on the, uh, the sheets on the, on the bed in there for some reason, man, when I used to do it, I was like, God, this is such a pain in the ass is like lifting the mattress and doing this. Like it would get me a little winded. And I noticed when I put them on the other day after doing sheets, I was like, Hey, I'm pretty good. Like, yeah, I'm wow. That's when I noticed it. I was like, okay, like that's, that's awesome. A little bit of a little bit of benefit of just being naturally more active, right? Um, so, how do you feel? Are there any changes mentally? You know, I didn't. I didn't really notice it until we had our like couples counseling the other day, and we were talking. You know, she was like, she was Morgan was bragging on me, and my therapist was like, "Yeah, the depression. Like, how does like how's how those symptoms been?" And I started thinking about it. And I was like. You know, I hadn't really like noticed it creep up like it normally does. Right. Um, and I don't know if it's a combination of the exercise that I'm doing and being focused on like I'm I'm more conscientious, like I'm like, okay, what am I gonna have for lunch? What am I gonna eat for a snack? What can I put what can I add to this meal that I'm doing to make it right. more nutritious? So like I make a smoothie, I throw berries in there and like all the berries and the strawberries, I'm like, Oh, okay, I've got kale. I'll throw kale in there. I'll throw spinach in there. Like what wow. can I add in there? Yeah, I know. Trey Falco <laughs> I know. leveling up I know the nutrition so game. So like it's a Greek yogurt and I'm like, what can I what how can I so that's that's the part of this the I, it's not even really a diet that I'm on. It's just teaching me to be more conscientious about what I put in my body, right? And so and thinking about how I eat and why I eat. So like le- learning my social triggers. Mm. Okay, everybody else is eating pie. That means I can eat pie. 
well, no, that, that, that might be why I would normally eat pie, but I mean, I could eat that pie, but that's going to be X amount of calories. I have to like balance it here. So maybe I don't eat the pie or maybe I take a small bite, you know, sure. there's social triggers or environmental triggers. The, when I first started doing this, I had to go pick, you know, my daughter up from my parents and I was like, Oh, this is a big environmental trigger. Like I always snack when I go to my parents, mm. like that's just what I do. Like I walk it's in, I'm probably like, probably a, a comfort from like, like a nostalgic, yep. like it's so thinking, just bread in your head to, yeah. to eat comfort food while you're at your parents so thinking about that, being conscientious of that going into my parents house and being like okay i'm not gonna snack because it's so easy you know how many fucking calories are in chips it's yeah. stupid yeah. you know how, you know how many calories are in a little hershey's nugget it's <laughs> a toffee? lot it's a lot dude at least the dub i can i can attest to is like a hundred no it's yeah it's like 160 calories for like one of these right for just a bite-sized little and i used to it, it, easy just down like five six of them because Right. They're just, they're poppable. They're there. Being conscious, those small little changes have made, I think, a huge difference. Um, because that's, that's just, that's just mindless calories that you're consuming that you don't even really think about. You're like, you see it and it's small and it's like this. And you're like, oh, that's like 10 calories, 15 calories. Like it's something right. stupid small. No, it's dense. It's super dense. It's yeah. super calorific. Expialidocious. Yeah, expialidocious. Densus. Expialid hypertentious. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll pat myself on the back for that one later. <laughs> but no, it's it's wild. But what I'm I'm like what is encouraging to hear is that you're using an app that counts calories. Yeah. The meat like so fad diets and magic bullet like yeah. recipes and programs and things like that they they tout that you won't have to count calories on this program and you won't have to do this yeah. and they make it to in order to sell their program yeah the best way to know if you're losing weight or gaining weight if you're trying to put on muscle is knowing how many calories you're putting in your body yeah like it it removes all of the guesswork yep and then when you this is what I would if somebody came up to me today and said this is kind of what I've 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 changed. Like I've had multiple people, you included, yeah. saying, "Hey, what kind of calories should I be looking at right now?" Mm -hmm. Or like, "How can we do this?" And I I use the Harris Benedict equation. Yeah, look it up online. It's a good way to find out. He's a good actor. Harris, oh, you know, the Cumber. Yeah, Benny Benny Straw Cumber Scrunch. I like him. Cute, he's cucumber good. melon. Patch. Yeah, he's good in the Grinch. Right. <laughs> um... <laughs> But no, if uh, you use that equation, it'll tell you how many calories it takes to remain the same weight. Yeah. And then you adjust accordingly. You want to lose weight, subtract the calories by a little, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. For fo What I would tell somebody for folks today, if they came up to me and said, where do I start? Yeah. I would say, just track your calories. Don't change anything. Yeah, just figure out what you're eating. What's going in your body? What you, what's going in your mouth? Calculate it. Every step of the way, everything, if you go to snack, calculate it. I was going to say everything because it's so easy to mindlessly snack. Yeah. I I found that boredom is a trigger for my hunger. Like, I just eat because I'm bored. Right. And I feel like there's probably a lot of people that do that. Oh, absolutely. And it's... 100%. Like, and that's a, that's a thing to, like, track every little... I mean, it's it's annoying. At least in this one, it makes it easy because... I just start searching and it just has it. Even like popular things like we we had Zaxby's going down in Pensacola and I could just type in Zaxby's mm -hmm. and it had it had that logged in there because people as they log it it just it just keeps track. And I was like, "Well, that's cool." Yeah. Like that makes it so much easier. I don't have to like look up or whatever. I can just go, "Okay, Zaps potato chips." And it's a single bag. I'm like, "Yeah, right. X amount of calories." It's crazy that just the tracking will make somebody so aware yeah. of what they're putting in their body. But anybody who says counting calories is complicated, do it for a week and then come back to me. Yeah. Once you do it, you're no longer like, I know how many calories is, is in an egg. I know how many yeah, calories 70. are in a... Right. Mm -hmm. And it, like, I don't have to track things. I mean, it now, this is going to be more challenging if you're somebody who says, oh, I've got to have variety yeah. or whatever. It's like, well, do you... How, how bad do you want it? Yeah. You know, if I've, you're... I've gotten to where I do like... I'm like, it, it, old faithful. Lunch, if I don't know what else to make, chicken and rice. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty simple. Yeah, yeah. You get a little food scale, 10 bucks on Amazon, yeah. literally, and weigh out your, your, your chicken. 
and you know how much you're going to eat. You have your rice. If you mm-hmm. want a little healthy fat in there, eat some. Uh, if you like coconut, coconut oil is one of the best healthy fats. Yeah. Um, or a little, little tablespoon of peanut butter. Yeah. You know, get the most organic, natural kind that you can mm-hmm. um, that doesn't have, uh, you, you want to watch out for nitrates and nitrites in your ingredients. Um, and for you being, uh, you were talking about um, like Zaxby's and um, yeah, uh, you said hibachi. Yeah. So something to really look out for, which nobody would think that this would lead to, to diabetes yeah. and increase these numbers is cooking oil. Um, if you're looking at, let's just say vet, like vegetable oil, mm-hmm. which is like probably the cheapest oil out there. Yeah. Um, these restaurants are usually using the cheapest that they can find. Yeah. Save um, some money. Yeah. Vegetable oil can be a huge, I mean, huge contributing mm-hmm. factor to diabetes. Okay. So if you're going to eat, um, hibachi. Yeah. This this may seem ridiculous, but your life is on the line here. Yeah, absolutely. So to speak, you know, your health is on the line. Yeah, yeah. Um, your health for the people around you who love you mm-hmm. um, is on the line. Uh, ask them, how, you know, can you not cook it in oil? Can you just give me some condiments? Like, please don't cook it in oil. Yeah. Like, no no butters, no oils. Okay. Because um, you don't know what kind of butter they're using either. Yeah, that's um, a good point. And, I mean, just Ben Greenfield... Look mm-hmm. up Ben Greenfield and okay. vegetable oil and listen to him talk about it. Once you get through hearing him talk about it and what's really happening with this rancid oil yeah. that's yeah. going in your Ugh. body, um, he was asked, what would you rather eat, uh, this bag of, of fries mm-hmm. from this fast food joint or this huge thing of cotton candy? Yeah. It's like, well, potatoes would be healthier than just straight sugar. He goes, I would rather take the cotton candy. Wow. Because I'm going to be able to burn the sugar off. Yeah. But what's in the oil that they use to cook the fries? And he goes, I'm not going to be able to burn that off. It's going to sit in my stomach and wreak havoc on my system. Okay. So for somebody diabetic, Mm pre-diabetic, really watch your cooking oil. Okay. What about like... I use, like, when I cook, I do extra virgin olive oil. I'm good like, to go. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil, you're good to go. Okay. Um, like Chick-fil-A, the, the peanut, the peanut oil, oil, yeah, no go. It's it's not good. It Interesting. Is, yeah. It's it's wild what we've just accepted. Chick-fil-A is supposed to be the healthy fast yeah, food, right? Yeah. Um, the guy who did the... Healthy, but... Uh, right. The, the healthier option. Yeah. Um, the guy who did Supersize Me... Yeah, did super well. I watched it when I was here, and I sat at my desk and uh, yeah, watched. I, I think it's called Super Size Me Too. I think so. Yeah, but it's about chicken and how like he he tackled like the McDonald's fast food thing. Mm-hmm. Well, he goes after chicken and the misconception around like myths about chicken and and stuff like that. Like walking into a restaurant that touts that they're healthy and they're green and mm-hmm. how they'll use certain. Um, sales tactics to make you think you're eating something really healthy. Yeah. And it's scary. It is terrifying um, on what we've just been shoveling down our gullets our whole lives. Because it's cheaper. It's... Right. Convenient. It's convenient, yeah. But it's it's literally setting yourself up for huge medical bills down the road. Like, they say an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. Yeah. And that could be there's nothing more truer than that truer true more yeah. true more true true more true <laughs> truly <laughs> truly <laughs> so three things just if you can off the top of your head if somebody's wanting to, to start this journey and kickstart that anime training arc get into better shape whatever what are your top three like what what do you what are must do's must do's must must haves must whatever's like like th- coming from you Sure. First thing, easiest thing, water. Okay. Seriously, hydrate. If your brain's dehydrated, we're made up of an insane amount of... It's like 72% water. Oh, it's like crazy. That. We're, we, I don't know, like, we're basically it's like high. venom. We just slither <laughs> through, you know, we're yeah. all water. Um, I'm not sure that's how that works, but that, yeah. That's, well, nah. The bones might be a little difficult, but... That's a terrible... <laughs> uh, whatever. No, water. If your brain's dehydrated... Um, your depression is going to increase. Anxiety is going to increase. Okay. Water can solve a lot of problems. It can increase thermogenesis, which will help burn fat more. So make sure you're hydrated. Pull up a, uh, a water intake calculator for your... Making me thirsty. 
Yeah, <laughs> I do that. I have that effect. <laughs> um, so water, hydrate. Um, number two, I would say to take out of the guesswork, I would I would find a I would find a a, a good influencer, someone like do your research. Okay, look at maybe some testimonials or somebody who's widely followed. I would find somebody who has the health that that you want. Someone who you would say is healthy. Someone to maybe look up to, a mentor, so to speak. Yeah. If you have somebody in your life that you can glean off of, do it. Even Utilize better, them. I, maybe. Oh, if, I would, if, if you can, if a direct line to them, you know. Right. Go enroll in a, go sign up for a couple personal training classes or pay you know there's more at lo- on the line if you pay for it yeah just find somebody who is smarter than you when it comes to uh health and wellness it's what we do with school exactly precisely why not do it with your body yeah read read a book yeah i would say throw that in there to getting guidance so number two getting guidance um and number three just move. Start moving. Do anything. Get going. I mean, I could get really specific. I could yeah. say uh, cut out refined sugars. I could say anything. But just off the top of my head, we didn't talk about this beforehand. You didn't say, hey, I'm going to ask you three questions. No, I didn't. I, that was off the cuff. Right. And I'm literally just what comes to mind, what it would be the most important, is just to get moving Monitor how you feel after you start moving after a week or two. Yeah. Just do something. I would maybe, say that. Maybe too. replace, maybe, maybe, maybe you got an hour lunch. So maybe you go for a 15 minute walk on that hour lunch or something. Or I don't know. It's, it's hard, you know, like depending on your job and things like that. But you can find little ways to get moving. Right. Um, even if you have to do it after. I know you're tired. Like I get it. But how long do you want to be tired? Yeah. Do you want to stay that way the rest of your life, or do you want to? It's not going to yeah. be comfortable. Yeah, it's it's not going to be easy. If being in shape was easy, we'd all be walking around looking like Fabio. See, that's the thing that, that, <laughs> that <laughs> Fabio. Fabio. That's the thing that people miss with the with the anime training arcs and your montages is all of that stuff gets cut out. Typically, the part where they're really struggling, the days right. where they get up and they don't want to do it, or they, you know, like. You get to see a lot of the highlights where they're, where they're, you get to see their victories. You don't get to see, and you get to see some of the failures, but you don't get, you really don't get the full picture. It's glamorized. Mm. And a lot of those montages, whether it's anime or Rocky or whatever, like you, you, you can tell it's hard, but like, I don't think you really get the full picture of how difficult it can be, especially no. if you're going from somebody that's in a very sedentary lifestyle to wanting to be active. Even those small changes can feel like mountains right. at times. Right. I mean, goals are so important. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And actually, if I could scratch one of those, like yeah. one through three, I mean, getting tested with for with your hormone levels. Mm-hmm. Get your home, hormone levels tested and take a get a micronutrient test done. You need to find out what you're deficient in. Yeah. That is going to be huge above all else. Yes, get, start moving, get get active. Yeah. But get some tests done so that you know if you're if you're deficient in vitamin D, especially for men, men use up vitamin D like crazy. Yeah. Like, especially with us working in, we're not out like we like we were, you know, 10,000 years ago. Exactly. So we are at a massive loss and lack of vitamin D, which is going to lead to lower testosterone levels. Mm-hmm. You get lower T levels, you're going to be dealing with a host of issues lower t levels <laughs> my first thought was you get lower t levels you're gonna get lower p levels <laughs> like you pee pee oh <laughs> well it's, it's not gonna function yeah yeah i know that's, that's i mean <laughs> i had a, I had a friend of mine who um he's 25 yeah and he uh he just he felt like he had no energy he would come home from work um and just crash in the bed yeah. and he would stay on his phone and um that's a whole other thing blue light yeah, levels yeah. late at night but he just he said he had no energy his mood was terrible he felt like he was constantly depressed he's like i've got nothing to be depressed about yeah he says i've got a good life i've got a got a beautiful wife i've got a, a good job good paying job nothing there's nothing for me to be depressed about yeah 
he got blood work done, and if what they call normal, mm-hmm. not optimal, but normal testosterone levels are like 400 mm-hmm. up to uh, like 12 to 1500 is high. Okay. Now, I would argue, and a lot of people would argue, that 400 is not normal. Yeah. 1500 is, is high. high. Now, high doesn't mean dangerous. Yeah. Just it just high. means higher on the spectrum. 400 to me, if... Let's just say it's it starts at 450. Mm-hmm. Well, are you going to tell me that 449 is low, but 450 is normal? Yeah, yeah. You know? So he got tested. He was at 300. Oof. Now, this is a active, fairly healthy male, like who, who watches what they eat, yeah. you know, has the occasional pizza here and there, um, but lives a somewhat healthy lifestyle. But because of the exposure to blue light at night and everything else that we deal with, the stressors of the world, Mm -hmm. the everything that we deal with, everything yeah, that was not around years and years ago. We even 50, uh, 100 years ago. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we also deal with, um, what's the word we have Wi-Fi. Oh yeah. Um, Being in a setting with Wi-Fi, Mm -hmm. like, gosh, I can't think of the term that what Wi-Fi puts off that, will be a negative have a negative effect on us yeah um if you live in an apartment complex or condominium Mm -hmm. gosh if you're watching i'm sorry but it's the worst place to be because of all the routers oh wow all the wi-fi routers um they they make paint they literally make paint to block out the word emission the word sure for lack of the right word it's closest yeah. thing we've got emission yeah. but they make paint they make suits for men that block out uh these things that help protect that okay um all of that can affect a, a young healthy male at 25 who should be full of testosterone mm-hmm. i mean guy's not out of shape um just normal dude yeah you know but those low testosterone levels have affected his quality of life so freaking much now He's going to be put on a low dose of testosterone. Yeah, to help boost that. Yeah, to yeah. help get those n- numbers up. It's going to affect those everything. rookie numbers. you got to pump those numbers up. Exactly. <laughs> those are rookie numbers. Yeah. The guy was like 300 at 25. He's yeah. like, dude, I no wonder you, you feel like crap. Yeah. He's like, this is awful. So with a little testosterone therapy, which can be good in some cases mm-hmm. if you've exhausted all natural options, I'm going way too in detail, but... You could have low testosterone if okay. you're a man. <laughs> if you want more information, I'd be happy to talk to you. I was going to say, yeah. Josh is the fount of knowledge. Uh, it, it's something that, like, if, if you don't go looking for it, yeah. information like this, it's not screaming at you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And so many people just, they don't know what they don't know. You know, you wouldn't know that yeah. vegetable oil works. is bad for you. Yeah. You know, you don't know that you don't know that <laughs> vegetable oil is bad for you. Yeah. You're like, okay, well, it's it's calories. You see so. all that that you don't know? That's just the top of it. It's just the top of it. <laughs> Man, I've got some dad stories for you. Do you really? Yes. Yes. I, I was at my dad's a couple of days ago and uh, got some stories. Okay. Which, when you started talking about your urine, I yeah. almost tied a story into that, but <gasps> it's, it's a 20, 30-minute podcast. We'll have, to, we'll have to bring those back at some point. I talked about Stan. Did you? That's probably time to wrap it up then clean yourself up. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> A lot of protein. It's, yep. Healthy side effect. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's a sign of poor digestion, but it's n- yeah. another time. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys found this useful. You asked at the beginning of the show and our hook, uh, can you stay a nerd? Yeah. You know, absolutely. You can yeah. even become a nerd with fitness and, yeah. and wellness. Yeah. Like like this old jackaloon right here. <laughs> But no, any anything I can do to help guide somebody in the right direction, Absolutely. that is one of my passions, one of my callings. I think this has been an episode that's a long time coming anyways. We've we've kind of played around with the idea of like you talking like health and fitness on a, on on just something right. on the channel. So Well good. I hope somebody gets some some use out of it. Yeah. You know. But drink more water. <laughs> Until next time. Uh, well, now you should probably tell people what they can do for us. Oh, yeah. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were serious the whole podcast. 
Uh, you can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Official CS Pod. And then you can also head on over to uh, Apple Podcasts, leave us a five star review, and let us know. Uh, let us, hey, what's your fitness journey? Are you going to start your anime training arc? Let us know. What's your favorite? What's your favorite healthy meal to eat? What's your guilty pleasure while you're, you know, getting in shape or dieting or whatever? And tell us whatever you want to know on the on the on that five star review. Do we'll it. We'll read them. Uh, you can also follow us on Spotify. Leave us a five star review there on Spotify, and uh, keep up to date on everything that we're doing. And you can hit that like and button and smash subscribe if you're watching on YouTube, or just go to YouTube and do it anyways because you're gonna follow us on all the platforms, and we'd appreciate it. Plus, you get all the shorts at YouTube, so you get the little bite sized chunks too, mm. and all the fun little stuff. So all the gluten free, calorie dense, bite size hors d'oeuvres. You get our you get our CS hors d'oeuvres. CS Ur de Vuers. <laughs> Hor de Vuers. Hor of Hours. Hor of Hours. <laughs> That's what we're going to call your uh, backsliding from health and wellness. Oh, it's going to be Hor of Hours. <laughs> <laughs> They're the death of me, Josh. Well, I've been the Scottish Hush Puppy, and I've got some food to go eat. And until next time, my ghastly gang, stay spooky. Jordan Bell Spurred Jordan Bell Spurred Create shit Build anything Make it real I've been getting dirty money Jordan Bell Third Stacking penny stocks while I'm flipping these birds Sipping on Ciroc, trip them up with the words I just popped the molly and I think it's be my third